Hi, I'm your host, Howie Siegel, and I'd like to introduce you to the concept of, wait, what? Actually, Howie isn't my real name. It's Howard, but I'm fairly certain that this sobriquet will throw my enemies off my trail. In The Big Lebowski, the greatest film exploration of the stupidity phenomena ever made, the dude is trying to explain to The Big Lebowski in stammering and completely unintelligible terms what he's been up to and how he managed to completely fuck up his appointed task. And The Big Lebowski asks, What in God's holy name are you blathering about? And it occurred to me that the first question I should address is what I intend to blather about so you can decide whether to keep listening. Well, I'm going to blather a lot about the reality of a zombie apocalypse. I have seen them and they are real. But they're not the kind of zombies with bad hair that come out of their graves and eat your gallbladder. Which, by the way, is no big loss. You don't need one. So it might be a good idea to hand it over without a messy fight. Also, you can see the gallbladder eaters coming a mile away. They're the ones that walk like they ran out of toilet paper after the COVID-19 panic. No, I worry about the other kind of zombies. The ones who look pretty normal most of the time, but put them in a convention hall with Donald Trump or a megachurch pastor, and they act as if they're brain dead and being controlled by someone else. And that is the actual definition of a zombie. People who act unconscious and are controlled by someone else. People who seem to be born with an internal off-on stupid switch that's been crazy glued in the on position by a con artist who tells them there are easy answers to complicated problems. These are the people who buy fat buster weight loss pills. We guarantee you will lose up to 35 pounds the first week. If you lose too much, stop taking Fat Buster immediately. These are the same people who attend Trump rallies and nod when he says, apropos of absolutely nothing, you know, I have never understood wind. You know we have a world, right? So the world is tiny compared to the universe. He actually said that because he thought it demonstrated how smart he was. And this, he went on to say, explained perfectly why windmills caused ear cancer. If you were able to follow that train of thought, you might want to lay off the PCP for a while. Anyway, not a single attendee scratched his head and said to the guy next to him, Wait, what? When Trump bragged he wouldn't lose a single vote if he shot somebody, he wasn't bragging about his supporters' loyalty. He was proclaiming their stupidity. He was announcing that he commanded an army of zombies. This podcast is going to explore the many facets of the zombification of American culture. There's a lunatic in Florida. Actually, there are scores of lunatics in Florida, but this one is named... Pastor Rodney Howard Brown. And he's been an honored guest at the White House. In the midst of this pandemic that could turn out to be a repeat of the 1918 flu that killed 55 million people, this fundamentalist lunatic packed his personal flock of zombies into his megachurch, telling them that Jesus would protect them from what Trump had called that Chinese virus. He then proceeded to crowd them in using the canned sardine model of social distancing and perform a screaming praise Jesus sermon where he looked like he had been possessed by Beelzebub. Tithing stuffed in his pockets, 
he released his troop of zombies to spread whatever communicable disease and brain shortcomings they were infected with on Greater Florida. The idea of Greater Florida that occurs to me is an oxymoron. Pastor Rodney and his parishioners are regular morons. So, to paraphrase the dude, I'll tell you what I'm blathering about. I've got information. New shit has come to light. I am here to share the new shit with you folks. That and to warn you about the zombies. So, that when you encounter them, or one of the guys who sends them off to do his bidding, when they knock on your door with beatific smiles and tell you stories that sound like the delusions of a guy who's been on a week-long crystal meth binge, you'll be armed with the simple, foolproof, anti-zombie chant of, Wait, what? (laughs) 